What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm bringing you another leveling build from one to 50 utilizing twisting blades. All right guys, let's get into the skills so you guys can see how this build works. We're taking puncture all the way into fundamental puncture so we can throw three blades, which gives us maximum opportunities to make multiple enemies vulnerable at the same time after two throws. Then we come down to twisting blades, which is our main skill. We're maxing this out all the way up to advanced twisting blades. I know that the cooldown reduction has been significantly reduced from 0.25 to 0.10, but this is still the best one. However, there has been really good testing with improved twisting blades, which dazes enemies while they are impaled, which is really cool. But I still like the cooldowns because we want to use our mobility skills as much as possible. Then we got two points in the sturdy for damage reduction, three points in the siphoning strike for sustain because we're a squishy rogue. Then we're taking three points into Stutter Step. Uh, critically Strike an enemy gives us more movement speed. We are going to be very fast in this build. Then we're coming down to our agility skills. We're going to have three points into Weapon Mastery for more damage. Uh, if you have daggers, that's fine against healthy enemies, but try to use swords because you get the, the, the flat 9% increased times damage, which is just even better uh, than the 15% just to healthy enemies because the damage is through the entire time, not just when they're healthy. Three points into Concussive because of our Poison Trap, we're going to knock them down. Shadow Step into Methodical Shadow Step to stun when we get away. Guys, this build works exactly for Hardcore, so if you are using it, you have to pick Shadow Step. If you have a choice between Dash and Shadow Step, always Shadow Step. So this is our Get Out of Jail free card for against Crowd Control Effects for Unstoppable. Then we have Dash into Discipline Dash for more um, agility and move speed to get around the map. Then we're coming down to our little sneaky rogue skills, and we're going to be taking Dark Shroud into Subverting Dark Shroud for move speed. Poison Trap all the way down into Subverting Poison Trap for 10% increased damage against enemies standing inside our Poison Trap. This is very good against elites, bosses, world bosses, single target damage, very strong. The Enhanced Poison Trap is what's going to knock them down. Then we max out Exploit for more damage as well as Malice for more damage against vulnerable enemies. Then we come down to imbuement skills. We're not using any imbuement skills. We're going to take one point into deadly venom for more damage against poison enemies. Three points into debilitating toxins to reduce damage by poison enemies, which should happen pretty often. And then um, alchemo, alchemo advantage. Then we're taking the advantage here for uh, increased attack speed. It's just one point. You can take this away if you really wanted to put more defense in if you want. This is just really, really nice. Then we're coming down, no ultimate skills. We are taking three points in intervention for uh, more energy on a lucky hit. Three points in trap mastery for increased critical strike chance against vulnerable enemies. And then one point into adrenaline rush for regen. And then three points into haste to get around the map really, really fast. Now our key passive is going to be momentum. All right, cutthroat skills grant a stack of momentum for eight seconds. If we hit a dazed frozen enemy, hit an enemy from behind, we increase the stacks, okay? While at three stacks, we get 20% increased damage reduction, 30% increased energy re regeneration, and more move speed. While you're going around inside of Twisting Blades, this is going to be very easy to accomplish. You're going to run around, hit somebody with Twisting Blades, run around, hit somebody with Twisting Blades. When the Blades come back, we're going to be able to hit multiple enemies with melee or cutthroat skills. So getting these three momentum stacks is going to be pretty easy. Now into the gear and uh, specializations, guys. Our specialization is going to be Inner Sight. At first, while you're leveling to 15, you take combo points, but as soon as you hit 25, you're gonna take Inner Sight, because once we max this out, we can just spam Twisting Blades. This is very, very strong against bosses and single target damage. Now, into our gear, guys. Our gear is gonna use some aspects. Aspects only, this is one to 50, no necessary legendary powers that you're gonna need. So, in the chest, you're gonna take um, the Might Codex, which is gonna give you basic skills, give you damage reduction. You're going to have rapid for more basic attack speed uh, with our puncture. And then we're going to do disobedience for more armor because, again, guys, we are squishy. Then we're taking in our amulet is twisting blades. So we get more damage and this allows the blades to spin around us. And then it increases damage the distance that they travel back to us. Then we're taking ravenous. Killing a vulnerable enemy gives you 50 times increased energy regeneration for four seconds. This is phenomenal to not only get around the map, but be able to spam our Twisting Blades a lot faster. Then we have Vengeful Loop. Making an enemy vulnerable has a chance to give us critical strike chance. I really like this one. And then down here, you do have Edge Master if you really want to use it. However, you don't have to. Okay, so those are the abilities that you need for the build. Now let's talk about this real quick. So you're going to be in and out of combat. You're going to always have Dark Shroud up at all times on cooldown. You're going to use your dash and shadow step to kind of get around Use dash first, save shadow step if you have to, uh, but it does give you a really good stun. 
Always drop Poison Trap as often as you can. Then you're going to pop Puncture to get our energy back. And then you're going to run up to an enemy, hit Twisting Blades. Maybe once or twice, run to another enemy, hit Twisting Blades. And then you're going to allow the Blades to come back to you. So, let's go showcase the build really quick. And you guys can see how powerful this build is. It's a really, really fun build. I really enjoy it. I'm trying to do hardcore with range, but this build is really fun. So, poison. Right? Swing. It is. It just slaps, right? Right? You just allow your stuff to just go. And then we have inner sight, and we just spam, drop our trap, and they're dead. Right? We're going to get around the map. Oh, butcher! Awesome. What a butcher run for the video. This is great. Give me inner sight. Spam it. This is so good for the video. Give me my inner sight back. Spam twisting blades. Drop poison trap. This butcher is really tough. See when he's stunning me, we just want to do that. Rack up our stacks here. He headbutted me again. Spam twisting blades. He needs to stop headbutting me. Spam, spam, spam. Poison trap. I'm out of potions. I'm out of potions. We got to be strategic. Spam twisting blades. Oh! Oh my god, and he's dead. Let's go. We got the butcher kill. Boy, that came down to the wire, man. But you guys can see how strong the build is against the butcher on world tier two. He is just so, so aggro. What a really good kill for the build. Absolutely fantastic. Let's see our chest piece. All right. But you guys can see how really cool the build is. It is very, very strong. And you just absolutely slap again. Drop that. Go over here. Get your twisting blades going. Drop your poison trap. You know, hit a couple enemies, right? Allow them to come back. You're constantly moving with this build, which is just really good. Get the stun. Just constantly moving around. You guys can see the build is just so strong, right? The build just absolutely tanks, okay? That is Twisting Blades, guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Make sure to like the video if you guys have enjoyed it. I know Twisting Blades just kind of gets, you know, it's the big word around Diablo 4, and it's like really one of the strongest builds. But I can't stress enough that this build will literally carry you all the way through the game, and it's absolutely fantastic, okay? So make sure to like the video. Comment down below, guys, what do you think about Twisting Blades for leveling 1 to 50? Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.